Hi everyone, in this lecture we will be studying the group by clause. The group by clause breaks down the result set into subsets and then runs the set function against each subset. So uh, now let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. And you need to keep in mind that this uh, this group by clause it is going to it is going to make the result set to return only one record or one row per subset and then the subset is going to be dictated by the column name specified in the group by clause it is also required that the column name that we're working with must also appear in the select clause so uh, if we have any from or where clauses uh, the group by clause will appear after those so essentially it's at the end of our query now let's say we have our where is our locations here is our locations table so we have our locations table and we are going to take this country id into consideration now we have seven country ids right so there are three there are three and there are seven and we know that four of them are unique and the rest of three they're not so so unique so they're repetitions right they're not unique numbers and if we do count it is going to give us with a qualifier it is just going to give us four we know all of that but what if you wanted to find out how many times each of the country ids is actually repeated what if you want to find that out for some reason so we are going to say select then i'm going to say from uh, where is our table it is locations l and then we are going to say group group by so group by l dot so what is the group that we want to return that that we want to return the result set by that group it is the country id so i'm just going to pass in country underscore id let's terminate the statement now how our select statement is going to look so first off we are going to grab our count set function we are going to say l dot country id because it needs to count the country id so country underscore id and uh, this is going to return one column for us we know that this is just going to return one column and that is going to be the count call now what if you want you want more than one column we have already done this I'm, i could just put it on one line i think that is better readable so I'm going to say L dot country ID save that let's run this code so now you can see that the US has been repeated three times Canada one time UK two times DE one time this is how the group by works it grabs our result set and it groups it by whatever parameter that we pass in so in this case we have a set function so it groups it by the condition or criteria of the set function so for each subset that this group by creates this count function is going to run so the first subset is us and keep in mind each subset where is going to have one row so you're not going to have you're not going to see us two times that is one subset one row is dedicated to it so one a row for one subset and that subset is us and it has been re repeated three times then it is going to count how many times canada has been repeated and how many times uk and how many times germany that's it for this lecture see you in the next one